Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Real Chinese Food. My name is Jay. My name is Yi. In today's episode, we're gonna try some Shanghai Thai or Shanghai cuisine in English. We're gonna see how it's been made, how it tastes like, how to build a proper meal around it, and most importantly, the culture behind it. So the place we're going today is called Shi Ku Men. The restaurant was founded in China back in 2001, dedicated to make the most traditional Shanghai cuisine. Luckily, now in Toronto Markham, we can also taste the same goodness from Shi Ku Men. Shanghai cuisine, the official name for it is Hu Cai. So it's originated around the Ming and Qing dynasty. It's a complex style that developed under the influence of the neighboring city, which are Jiangsu and Zhejiang. And Jiangsu is where I came from. Well, wow. all right, here we are. Ah, Hi, my name is Huang Dingqi. I was a chef in China. After coming to Canada, I realized there wasn't any good Southern Chinese cuisine, especially from Shanghai. It was a pity there wasn't any genuine, authentic Shanghai cuisine. Shi Ku Men was established in 2001 in Shanghai, China. We opened our first restaurant here in 2015. Shanghai cuisine generally have two main types. Traditional is called Ben Bang, modern is called Shanghai cuisine. Both are generally considered as Hai Pai or coastal cuisine. Since the 1930s and 40s, Shanghai has been a city of immigrants. As a port city, there were a lot of people from across the seas, creating a mix of Eastern and Western culture. That's why standard Shanghai cuisine consists of Eastern and Western elements. Shanghai cuisine is very exquisite. For example, the crystal shrimp is made with de-shelled shrimp, glazed with a clear sauce as finish. Squirrel fish is not only delicious, it's also crispy, tender, and smells heavily. Shanghainese also have very high standard for our braised pork. We boil and render the fat out of the fatty belly meat. It may look fatty, but it's not greasy. Our authentic Shanghai cuisine is completely different from the general Shanghai buffet food. Wow, that's a lot of food. Uh, this looks so good, it's so delicious. It's just a lot of procedures and a lot of steps making all these dishes. I was shocked back there in the kitchen. Yeah, the procedures, like how they make it is just elegant. Like, yeah, and the history as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should start with the soup. Yeah, sure. Right. This one is called... The old duck soup. And it has the bamboo inside. I think the bamboo is what makes the flavor like different. Bamboo is one of my favorite veggies. Wow, it's so good. Just one sip of the soup, my mouth is watering. And your stomach is getting warm. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's so crunchy. The flavor is very special, like the bamboo, like you said before. Mm -hmm. It's simple but delicious. Next, we're gonna try the fish oh. called a song shu yu, and its direct translate would be squirrel fish. So they cut the fish into like little strips. They didn't separate them. It's, they're still together. The whole yeah, exactly. Thing. Yeah. Put the whole thing in the fryer and they use very special sauce. I think it's sweet and sour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This maybe tastes like fish taste of french fries. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. This is one of my childhood favorite too. Yeah, I just want to dip more yeah. sauce. Mmm. It's very crispy on the outside and the inside is the fish, which is soft. Mm -hmm. It's like very interesting combination. And the sauce, and the sauce really pops out. <laughs> Americans will love this dish. Oh yeah, they like sweet and sour. This reminds me of the fish and chips. Yeah. This tastes very similar. Yeah. We just combine two together, you know? Exactly. Fish and chips. Fish and fish chips. <laughs> it's not fish and chips, it's fish chips. Yeah. <laughs> Next, it's the uh, hong shao rou. So this is pork, pork belly actually. You can see the fat, the skin, the meat. The color is, looks just so appealing. Cheers. Oh my God, it's so big. Mmm. 
Oh my god. The fat is melting in my mouth. Mm -hmm. it's, it's disappeared. It's just like whole mouthful of meat mm -hmm. with the meat and the fat and skin. It's like perfect combination. Mm. It makes me want to have rice. It's perfect with rice. Exactly. Mm. Let's try the shrimp. This is my must order dish mm -hmm. when I was younger in China. Like every time I go to the restaurant, I have to order this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like they call it crystal shrimp. Because it comes with a sauce? Yeah, that's the vinegar. So the shrimp with the vinegar? Yeah. yeah. Let's give it a shot. This flavor is, is very plain. The intention of this dish is not to be very flavorful. Mm -hmm. It brings out the original taste of the shrimp out. I can't imagine like why they're making this kind of dish. Because they're living beside the sea and the shrimp is very um, fresh. Tender. Yes, tender, mm. fresh. In the kitchen, the whole procedure is within a minute. Fast. Yeah. This is one of the most famous dessert, kind of dessert, or it could be appetizer as well. Mm -hmm. It's a lotus fruit with the off mantis honey on top of it. Inside is sticky rice. Mm, they put sticky rice. So in they it. just put the sticky rice inside the whole of the lotus root. Fulfilling. Yeah. The stickiness is like overwhelming. <laughs> you heard you're eating chopsticks wrong. <laughs> Wow. The honey is so different. So different. It's not the regular Does it have the flavor yeah. of, the, of the flower? Yeah, yeah. It's soft. The sticky rice inside, right? Wow. I can't Ooh. stop. It's Chinese sweet. It's <laughs> not like a, a donut sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. Today's total is $130. The amount is actually good for about 5 people, so each person will cost you about $30. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have more questions, please comment down below. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. Should we do this? <laughs> 真的真的<笑>